Wow, cool. What's up, Gabby here from Ray Studios, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Dream Glass Lid from DreamWorld. Now, I didn't got a box, but I have this nice carrying case, so let's see what's inside. The carrying case offers a lot of protection. Inside we have another case. This is for the shades, the Type-C connection for charging, and we also have a cleaning clothes. Then we have the remote control, and we have one more carrying bag, and on it, the Dream Glass Lid. So first, let's talk about design. It is strikingly light. I mean, you have to hold it in your hand to really, truly understand how light and small this is. Now, I've been playing uh, PlayStation 4 VR for quite a while and I love it, but that thing is heavy. It makes my neck painful and it's also very hot. When you put this on, which I'm gonna do it right now, we have this wheel to make sure it can adjust to the size of your head. Yeah, that's it very immediately and it's very comfortable. There is some pad here on the front and some pad on the back so you don't feel any stress and it's so light that you can wear this for really long periods of time without any problem. Now let's take a closer look, shall we? Here at the side we have three buttons, then when you turn this around you have the power button here and then here we have the speakers. We have a sensor that detects that you're wearing the, the drink glass and then we have a headphone jack. Then we have a pad here on your, for your forehead and another one for the back of your head. Then there is this wheel that you can adjust for different head sizes. So I have a very small head, so for me it's fine. I just go like maybe a couple of times and it's okay, but it can go pretty large. So if you have a big head, worry not. Now here at the top we have a USB Type-C connection, probably for charging and maybe you can also transfer some data in there. And we have a camera on the front. Surprise, surprise, you can probably sneak in some videos with that camera or pictures. Now, the glass at the front, they're kind of transparent. They're a little bit dark, they're like tinted, and that's, I think, is in purpose. So you can use it for augmented reality and for some games in which you are still aware of your surroundings. And I found it to be pretty, pretty okay, pretty good. I was walking on the street with this, and I can still see the street. I mean, it's not something that I would recommend you do. Uh, you might look a little bit weird with this, but let's say if you're using public transport and you don't want to be completely shut down and just watching some videos or playing some games, uh, this thing is fantastic because you are still aware of your surroundings. But in case you want to completely shut down and just focus on whatever you're watching or playing, there are the shades that you put them on and the it, that you just focus on whatever you're watching. So the Dream Glass is running on some version of Android and it has Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi. So it's kind of like, in a way, a little bit similar to a smartphone, but we have a remote control so you can interact with it. And the experience is actually really cool. It's like you're pointing a laser at different apps um, and playing with it and interacting with it. It's just, it's really futuristic. It's like living on the year 2030 or something like that. I don't know, I think this really might be actually the future of how we are gonna consume content. Um, I found it very interesting. And the screen that you see is like the equivalent of something like 200 inches. Lamentary, I don't know how to show you that. It's very hard to show uh, because you have a sensor that detects that you're wearing it. So as soon as I try to put it out and film with my phone, it was really hard to do that. So, um, like I say, it's just a massive screen. For me personally, I like to downscale that, is, that big screen to like about 50% till I feel very comfortable because I don't like that feeling of having such a huge screen. Another thing is, is it has sensors that recognize that you're moving. So let's say you are, I don't know, in the train, going on a long trip and then you're like kind of like falling asleep going back with your head and then the screen will move together with you so you follow whatever movement you have with your head so you're always looking at 
the movie or whatever it is that you're, you're watching. Now, another great feature about that is that you can use it for some kind of like augmented reality for exercising, for fitness. So, for example, you have Peloton pre-installed on these uh, glasses. I do not have a Peloton account, but basically you could be riding a bicycle or doing some exercise or yoga or whatever, and you can see your training at the same time that you can see your surroundings. And whatever you look, your training is gonna be there. So it's like, you, hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, yeah, I'm doing the exercise, don't worry. So that's really, really cool. Now, another great feature that we have with the Dreams Glass is that you can mirror the screen from your phone, either iPhone or uh, Android. So that opens a lot of possibilities. So for example, if you're flying a drone and you can mirror the screen of your phone, you could possibly fly your drone by watching just here. So you don't need to look at your phone. You could be looking at your drone and the screen at the same time. So I haven't tested that out uh, currently. There are some pretty heavy restrictions uh, because of the COVID-19 uh, in the area where I live. So yeah, it's a little bit tough to go out these days. <laughs> there are many things that I cannot do right now. But yeah, I guess if you can mirror a screen, you could possibly do that. You can also be watching TikTok videos or YouTube videos just by using the remote control and just mirroring uh, the screen. Uh, another great feature is that in the future, this will be able to be used with Steam. So I have Steam on, on installed on my PC, I run some games, like for example, I have um, the SPV simulator. So this could be very practical again, to fly the SPV using these goggles is gonna be great. So, so far, I quite like this, guy, this dream glass lid. Um, when it comes to the price, um, like I said, I don't have much experience with these things, but since a fair price, they're running an Indiegogo campaign. I will leave the link in the description down below. So go check them out. This is Kai from Ray Studios. Um, if you like this review, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you up on the next video.